All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're back on the property now, lot 57 here at the Highlands. Now, probably what you want to notice is, uh, you know, we just got a sloping lot. I'm going to go ahead and kneel down here to kind of let you get a good view of the slope itself. You know, we've got a path all the way cut in. We've got it underbrush where the home site would be. Right now, we're probably 100, 175 feet from the water, 150, 175 feet from the water right now. Uh, and as, if you notice on the plat, on the survey, when you're looking at it, you know, it kind of narrows down as it get towards the lake. But where I would imagine the home site being, we simply get down to about where the home site would be. Go ahead and turn the camera. There's an orange state there in that tree. I imagine the front door would be about where we're standing right now. Cut the basement end to the foundation uh, of, of the ground here. And then uh, let's go ahead and go back around here. There's another flag right there in that tree. So where your front door would be, I just measured the width of this going from side to side, and we're right at 100 feet. So we got 10 foot setbacks from the corners. So you can easily put an 80 foot wide house on this lot. So if you're looking for that lot that's priced attractively in the marketplace, and you're saying, hey, I just want to build a 24 to 2800 to 3200 I mean you can get bigger than that but you know if you're looking for that that home with a lot with a smaller type home package uh, this is definitely one that we want to consider because he's definitely got room in here uh, to put a bigger home but then again you can put a smaller home too so let's go ahead and walk on down the nice pathway that we had that we had cut in had the trees lifted so we can start to see the view let's just go ahead and stop right here just a moment that's your dock in front of you we're about half, well, like I said, we're about 125 feet from the water right now. Let's just go ahead and turn right back around here. And we were standing about where you see those three pine trees right there. That was just right at 100 feet on the lot lines. So you got a lot of trees, beautiful trees on here, mixture of pines and hardwoods. Now, you know, notice one thing, too. The lot to the right of us, which is lot number 58, it slopes. Uh, going from the corner here on 57 58 down towards a ravine so I imagine the house on 58 is going to be up and behind you so you should have a good bit of separation between your neighbors definitely on lot 58 and still pretty good bit of separation on lot number 56 so let's walk on down here to the dock itself because I want you to see that we got a Kroger 24 by 28 cover dock hip roof that is with a dock box ironwood decking uh, with a 40 foot walkway and we've got a uh, boat lift already installed. So we've got about $30,000 worth, worth of improvements on the property. Now our view starts to really open up right here. Looking left towards 56. And then looking back towards 58. And let's just go ahead before we walk down to the dock. Let's just get one more shot looking back up so you can kind of see the slope. It's not gentle slope. It's not steep by any means. It's just a... A uh, sloping Lake Kiwi lot, uh, but you know, easy. We'll come right in and cut into that uh, uh, to the earth there. Cut a nice foundation in. Put a nice walkout basement. And boy, I tell you, once you got you get a house back in here, it is going to look awesome on this lot. Whether you decide to come in off the cul-de-sac and put your driveway or have that nice uh, meandering long driveway in, uh, boy, that that would look really, really neat. We'll go ahead and stop the video right now. We'll go ahead and let's go ahead and we'll get down to the dock and we'll go from there.